Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Rosette and today I'm going to be taking you guys through black owned sustainable brands. That's right. Sustainable brands that are black owned businesses. I've been wanting to do this video for a while and I'm also just wanting to learn and grow in sustainability and also supporting black owned brands and I thought why not just kind of mix the two find brands that are black owned and doing sustainability as part of their ethos and business plan and share it with you guys for places that you can not only support and shop from but you can give as gifts you know to people in your family to your friends to yourself you know what i mean so yeah that is kind of where this video idea kind of came from i'm really excited to film it and share with you and also just wanted to share like i am fully on this journey to trying to shop a lot more sustainably and going forward i'm going to challenge myself this year to if I need to buy gifts for people to shop from sustainable brands as well as black owned businesses as well. And if I'm able to do that kind of two in one, I want to do that as much as possible. But I really want to grow in this area for myself personally. And I thought I would kind of share some black owned businesses that are sustainable that I've been just admiring, that I've been wanting to shop from, that I think would be great gift ideas and just overall great to support because they are also small businesses as well to some degree. And yeah, I'm just really excited. But before we get into the brands, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any portion of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing and comment down below say hi I say hi back and Let's get into this video. So I'm going to try and like pull up You know footage here. So I might do like a screen record on my laptop. I have my laptop actually in front of me So I'm just gonna do that real quick girl First up is Andrea Iyama. I apologize if I am saying her name incorrectly, but I'm just gonna kind of read off a little bit. They are founded in 2011, and Andrea Iyama adopts design elements that stay true to creating authentic clothing and resort wear that celebrate her African roots and cultures beyond. So as you can see, the first like piece here is just stunning they are absolutely gorgeous she has some swim pieces obviously some resort wear Ooh, i love like this green oh the green pants the thema green pants are absolutely gorgeous her silhouettes are just stunning and i feel like they're just classics with a twist like truly, you can just like wear this for any occasion. She also has accessories. I'm gonna take a look at her jewelry. I am obsessed with these earrings. I think they are absolutely stunning. They are so beautiful, just wow. And the imagery too, I love how it's just like, kind of minimalistic but it's also showcasing the jewelry just so beautifully like it is incredible there's another one on here it is the other basket it's the bebe or bebe basket earrings and these are just wow i just i can't handle this these are just so beautiful and they look very well made I just wow and I mean high quality images too it is truly truly amazing and you know decently priced like they're not super like I would say like they're kind of middle of the road like $45 is it feels as though that's like not too expensive but it's also it's not like a sale sale item but it's definitely more affordable um towards the pieces that andrea has 
resort wear, they have like these beautiful robes. I am a sucker for a robe, but they're just absolutely stunning. So Andrea Yama, just beautiful resort wear, clothing, accessories, and it's coming from her inspiration of her African roots, which is just incredible. So it makes it definitely more personalized to the brand and, and kind of what they're about. Next up, we have Kler, K-L-U-R. So Kler is a skincare brand and I have been obsessed with just like the imagery, the whole entire thought process behind this brand. I stalk them constantly on Instagram. They just have beautiful, aesthetically pleasing products that seem to also just be like really good for your skin, no matter what kind of skin you have. And yeah, and they're also just like really thoughtful behind the products that they use. And so I'm just gonna read a little excerpt. They are a clean, ethical, and inclusive beauty brand that provides a luxurious experience resulting in enjoyment through simplification. And that honestly is so, so true about Claire. They are just amazing. Um, I like that they are also clean and ethical. I think that's really important too, especially if you have sensitive skin, is to find brands that, you know, can be clean and that they're not going to be full of like fragrances and stuff like that. And typically clean brands, natural brands are fragrance free and so they're not going to like irritate your skin if you have sensitive skin and like all of the price point is on the more expensive side it seems that they're using really high quality ingredients in their products and they're just absolutely beautiful and the fact that it's like a conscious ethos all around is just amazing and I just like what Leslie says at the end on her um, story portion is just, my hope is for you to experience the same luxurious results and enjoyment through simplification. Thus demonstrating skin wellness can be achieved with well considered clean products and minimal maintenance. And I just, I love that. I fully, fully love that. And also you can like see the different skin conditions, the ingredients that are used in their products and also just like i mean this mask looks insane and the fact that it has like a cow in there vitamin b5 it's purification mask and also like the the like packaging just looks like not only like clean simple minimal you know aesthetic but it also seems like it's made out of glass i've never really held any of their you know products i haven't bought any but i do plan on buying some for myself in the future and they just seem like even just the packaging seems like really high quality and just luxurious as they have stated about their brand so very very beautiful so muted home is the next brands that i'm going to talk about so they're they're more so like they're a family-run business and they specialize in bringing customers unique handcrafted luxury home goods to your life. And so I just really like that it's, you know, simple but yet high quality products that you can use and that, that are also functional. They have just like the cutest things. They are definitely on the pricier side, um, but like it just seems as though the materials and the quality of the materials that they're using are like really good quality. And it's just like stuff that you will actually use. It's not like just useless stuff. And I love that even this like flatware set, it's like minimalist, but with a twist because you just have like this open space in between, which is really, really cool. But it's just like things that you don't think of that you're like, oh yeah, I definitely can still use this. It still serves a purpose and has a function in my home. So I really like that. I mean, measuring cups, you can never have too many measuring cups. Am I right? But yeah, they just 
have beautiful, beautiful products, and it's just something that can go with almost anything in your home. So whether your home has a more fun, eclectic style or a minimalist style, this can fit into all of that because it is more on the minimalistic style, you know, side of things. It could really complement like whatever style that you have in your home. So the Jungalo is another brand that sells like some homeware items but mostly on the decorative side so they just have like the most beautiful fun prints for like your bed and your bath as well as for like your living room and decor in general like you have some nice wall art you have some planters and just like wallpaper you have these beautiful decorative pillows that are just super cute and honestly like their bedding is just so pretty i really like this one here that's like on the main page of their bed and bath i like how it's like more muted but it still has texture and it still has you know patterns on it so it gives it a more you know elevated and adds more interest to the style that you're bringing to your room and it's just like fun like there are so many fun, beautiful prints that I feel like anyone can get behind and, you know, I mean, gift to yourself, your friends, your family, anybody. And they seem like they're made with such great quality. I love them. I am thinking about like getting some new bedding um, for myself, especially in the spring, summer, just because just to like switch it up a little bit because I have like I mean, I have this blanket on that my grandma made, which I love, and it like ties in with my like decorative pillow here. <laughs> I didn't know what my hand was doing. My sheets are like, I have an oat colored sheet and I also have a sage colored sheet from Bed Threads that I got, I think back like at the very beginning of 2020 is when I got it. And so I've had this, you know, bed set for a couple years now. And I just want to be able to switch it out with something else and add a little bit more interest. I will still keep this because it's made out of really good quality and it's a sustainable brand, which I love. Bed Threads is awesome and they have great linen products. We're not talking about them right now because we're focusing in black on sustainable businesses. Anyways, they just have like decors, prints, wallpapers, and so much more. They just have really, really cute designs and obviously like this quilted coat that's super cute. And you know, they also just do like one colored options too in case you're not fully into prints. So that's great as well. So they can cover about anyone's taste and you know, style for whatever that you're kind of going for but i do love their prints and i think that's something i kind of want to go in the next direction so looking at their planters and vases i definitely want to grab some of them they look so cute and i love the shape and i love the colors Ooh, they have a peace sign and a little giraffe and they have these bookends oh my gosh i love these bookends i think i might get that they just have such cute stuff and like it can fit both minimalist and also just like maximalist, you know, styles, whatever that you're kind of going for. But it definitely can add interest and just dimension to your room. Ooh, this picture is stunning. It is so beautiful. And the ceramic face planner set. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get that for myself because that is... That is beautiful. And this cactus planter, I'm just obsessed. Like they just have really great items and let's look at their rugs that they have here. And you can see the owner and founder of Jungalo. She's beautiful. Oh my gosh, like even just like the imagery here, it's just so fun and interesting. And they just have really, really beautiful rugs that just are stunning and they add like fun colors and just unique designs and shapes that can complement any room or house that you are decorating. So yeah, I definitely, definitely recommend Jungalo. I like either stuff all the time. Highly recommend. They're my favorite. 
Candid Art Accessories is the next brand. I really just love their jewelry. They're an artisanal jewelry, home decor, and kids lifestyle brand influenced by the modern African diaspora and cosmic geometry. Each jewelry piece is handcrafted and is created for the fearless fashion enthusiast who desires to make a statement without saying a word. They just like, even just looking at this jewelry here and the imagery here, it is absolutely stunning. And I love that they're showing black, beautiful women here and models like absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And their jewelry is just so fun. And I mean, they also sell face masks, so you got covered there. I'm gonna kind of focus on their earrings because I think their earrings are just so fun, so unique, and it has like really nice texture. Like this face earring right here, the open face earring is just, it's so unique and so different. I've truly never seen anything like it and i mean also just like the imagery again it's just so beautiful and it just adds like the perfect amount of interest to any outfit and even like this splash earring like it's just so unique and fun and like cool and they also have a complimentary necklace here and you can kind of see like the texture but also it's like made out of brass so it's going to age so beautifully over time and yeah it's just absolutely stunning they just have really really beautiful gorgeous pieces i really like this side face earrings like this one is my favorite and it's also 30 dollars, so it's like pretty affordable um and it tells you the materials that it's made out of and obviously like they have some kids items they have stationery take a look at their stationery these cards are so fun and cute oh my gosh the crown greeting, yes. I am obsessed with these. These are so cool. And the fact that it says here too, like it gives you options and ideas of what you can do with it by hanging it on your wall or putting it in a frame on a table. Like, you know, it's not only a greeting card, but it can serve as like art and decor. So that's very, very thoughtful and just having multiple purposes is amazing. So the next brand is Gold. You've probably seen them or heard of them on Instagram and seen them in some stores. They, first thing you see is matcha. And y'all know, I love me some matcha. Matcha lattes are like my thing. I make it almost every single day for myself. It gives me the right amount of caffeine. And the fact that it's also black on business, I do plan on buying my next matcha, you know, batch from gold so that I can support and also continue buying sustainably and from a black owned business all in one. Love that. But Gold shares like superfood essentials from their original turmeric latte blend to matcha lattes and shroom superfoods. If you need anything that's like health and wellness, Gold has got you covered. Like truly, they ha like have some of like the coolest fun products. I really just like, want to focus more on the matcha just because yes it is a superfood and it is green tea but it also can serve as caffeine especially since if you have a caffeine sensitivity like myself i can't have caffeine from coffee it makes me feel too jittery too insane and so having it from tea is just like the right amount and it's like slowly gives you the caffeine instead of just giving it to you all at once which i really appreciate and the fact that it like you can put it in lattes, smoothies, you know, whatever, like make it just like a regular tea so it doesn't have to be like a latte with milk. It can just be matcha on its own. You can make a matcha lemonade. There's just so much that you can do with matcha. And they have like demonstrations. They have really cute imagery here that you can see. And I mean, see, like you can just like make yourself like a matcha drink and have it with like some lemon or even ha like have like the dalgana coffee mixed with the matcha as well it's just they have really really great stuff and they also do a little bit of beauty so they're more like 
you know, because they're focusing a lot on superfoods and, you know, health and wellness, their beauty is also going to be more of an all natural skincare brand. So they have like a papaya bright face mask. They have their clean greens face mask, a superfood mask kit. And yeah, they just like have really fun, you know, products I think that anyone can use. But I'm especially excited to try the matcha latte powder that they have so I can have it as part of my daily routine, which I am fully here and so excited for. So We The People is a clean and sustainable brand that believes beauty shouldn't come at the expense of our psyche. Rather than pursuing flawlessness, they aim to build efficacious products designed thoughtfully that help you feel great in the skin you're already in, which is so great. They have like a resurfacing body serum. So it's about, you know, pore unclogging with glycolic acid, helps with like texture smoothing, and it's also extremely hydrating and it will provide you with radiant skin. They also have like an ingrown toner, a soak, a bikini mask that's like hydrating. And they also have my favorite. They have a reusable razor that is just absolutely stunning. So like what kind of attracted me to this brand first was the fact that I have been wanting to like shop for a sustainable razor, something that's going to last because a lot of razors are disposable and you throw them away and they're made out of plastic. And this is kind of like an old school razor, but it's, you know, made more like it's more modern and also like has the simplicity that it's just beautiful, simple, clean design, but it also serves a wonderful purpose. And they also just have like the shave gel um, to milk products that you can use with it. And yeah, they just like are really thoughtful in their design, but it's also going to give you like a really good clean shave and they also provide you with like a lot of information on safety razor 101 just so that when you are using this razor because it is more of an older school type of vibe with this razor um they don't want you to get hurt so they provide you information with how to use it safely and also dispose of the razors properly and safely so love that love this brand have been eyeing them for like the longest time and i will say it's not like the most affordable upfront, but it definitely saves you money kind of going forward because you're buying the razor that kind of sticks with you for life and then you're just replenishing it with the razor blades. Whereas with disposable, you're buying typically like the body and the the razor head and you know throwing either both or one of them away if it's not like detachable and all that stuff and this is definitely a more sustainable option and just like aesthetically pleasing. So the Coupe is the next brand, the Coupe New York. They have really beautiful candles. Like if you are wanting to get some candles for your home that are not only aesthetically pleasing, but have beautiful scents, the Coupe. They just are, they're also pretty affordable too. They're ranging from like $25 on average and it's like aesthetically pleasing and they have scents that can suit anyone's, you know, kind of palette in terms of what they can tolerate in terms of scents. For me personally, when it comes to scents, I don't have the best nose, I will say, but I like things that are kind of light and fresh, nothing that's super fruity, super sweet. I personally can't handle that. And they have scents here that I feel like I can really handle. They definitely have the sweeter scents, but they also have, you know, some muskier scents, which I personally like, and also just like clean, simple scents too, in my personal <laughs> opinion. So like the linen and white tea is one of them. I feel like that one's like a simple, clean, fresh scent. And also the packaging is like minimalist. It can fit any aesthetic or vibe that you're kind of going for. And it doesn't take away from the design that you have in your home. So it can add a little bit of spice, a little bit of, you know, value in terms of just making your home smell beautiful and just give you that, you know, the aroma that you're craving and desiring. So yeah, they are 
they have like a signature collection and a winter collection and their signature collection is just like pretty light um fresh but they also have some sweet scents in there that i think are just absolutely gorgeous they're scents that i personally would either buy for myself or for friends and for family and they're just definitely really affordable i know scents can definitely be hard to choose for people but if you can generally know that someone really likes um you know a more musky scent or a sweet scent or a fresh scent they have you covered in all the different types of scents that they have on their website so i definitely recommend checking the coop new york out <laughs> all right those are all the brands that i'm gonna be mentioning in today's video i'll definitely be doing these more so more often going forward sharing with you more ethical and sustainable brands that are also black owned and just ethical and sustainable brands in general just because i think it's fun to kind of discover new brands but also learn more about the brands as i kind of go on to this journey and you know hopefully inspire you to shop more sustainably if you can even with your gifts um, and i feel like this kind of covers all areas of just like health, wellness, and beauty, and you know, home and lifestyle, and all of that stuff. Pretty, I feel like I got like a range of stuff in there. But yeah, if you liked any part of this video, get please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing. And comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And yeah, if there's any sustainable brands or ethical brands that I should know about, please do let me know down in the comments. I love to discover new brands. Again, I'm going to be doing this way more often. So please do share with me and maybe I'll cover it in the next video that I do sharing with you ethical and sustainable brands. Anyways, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!